Welcome everyone to this lesson about variational methods and Hamilton's principle in the course about finite element analysis. Uh, we will start this uh, uh, lesson by uh, this video talking about a simplified concept uh, describing what is functional and what is variation. Uh, a functional uh, is something that can be simply defined as a function of functions. Uh, it produces a scalar value through the integration of a function over a domain. Uh, just to make that clear, if I'm integrating, if I'm defining pi here, the capital pi, as the integration of f of x from x1 and x uh, to x2, then I can say that uh, the pi here is a functional. Uh, if my... Uh, uh, important variable here I'm, I'm using the non-scientific term important not dependent or independent if uh, what I care for is f of x uh, so uh, then uh, pi is a functional of f of x defined as the integration of f of x from x1 to x2 that's a very simplistic definition I hope no mathematician is listening to me right now because Probably they will try to assassinate me when they hear me uh, saying this. Uh, however, uh, let's go further and then talk about uh, what variation is. Uh, I can simply, again simply, uh, identify uh, or define a variation of pi as the differentiation of pi with respect to f. Where f here again is the important function, the, the thing that we care about. So the variation of uh, the functional pi is its differentiation with respect to the uh, function f. Okay, uh, how would that uh, work? Uh, we will see, first of all, if f of x is defined at a certain point uh, known, if I know that the value of the function is a certain function, value f3 for example then the variation of that function at this point is equal to zero meaning that it doesn't have any freedom it cannot change its value it's a uh, predefined uh, predefined is something that we can say like um, uh, applying a boundary condition or uh, imp uh, imposing a constraint on the function so if the function is constrained with a certain value then its variation is defined to be equal to Z. Uh, uh, the variation uh, was defined as the differentiation of a function with respect to a function. So uh, we can extend that to say that the variation uh, rules uh, uh, are uh, almost the same like the differentiation rules. For example, here if I am taking the variation of pi, which is defined as the integration of f squared, then the variation of pi will be 2f times the variation of f. Uh, remember, if, uh, if the function was uh, defined as x squared, then its derivative is 2x dx, right? So uh, the same here applies for the uh, variation. Also, if uh, pi is defined as the integration of f of x times g of x, then its variation is defined as g of x times the variation of f, uh, of f plus f of x times the variation of g, uh, which is like the product rule in the differentiation. These are the two important uh, variational rules that we will need to use um, in the coming uh, lessons, in the coming videos. So uh, this, this is all what I have to say here about variation and functional. Uh, of course, uh, if you need to uh, go further, there's a lot of literature uh, that talks about functionals and the functional analysis and uh, the uh, variational methods. Uh, it's very interesting topic if you are interested in uh, further studies. However, now we are going to uh, stop here and uh, go to the next video where we are going to be talking about the Hamilton's principle which is a very important rule or principle uh, that's used in mechanics in general uh, and we will see how we can apply it and use it and then we how to apply it 
for the derivation of the finite element uh, model. Uh, so see you next video.